So my introduction to art, it stems from a whole family of artists. My mother, she has three siblings that are artists. So as a child, I grew up looking at their work. Like one of my aunts was a commercial artist. She would do lots of really neat little illustrations. And an uncle was a ceramics artist. And another was a, um, he did a lot of like, like ads and, and that kind of thing. So a very creative family. So it stems from them. And so my mother recognized in me, of course, the, the talent that, that came from her side of the family. And I, she says I always drew from a young age, of course, like three, four, I was drawing these, these princesses, and dresses, and long flowing hair, and all of, all of that. So it started as a child, of course. It's interesting because even in college, I majored in portraiture and figures and oil painting and very realistic things. And so that was all the way through college. And it wasn't until after I graduated that I tried to do a landscape. And it was so much fun that I thought, well, this is this is what I want to do. So I kind of put aside all the figures and started with the landscapes and the texture became thicker and thicker and I, I figured out how to use palette knives and how to make everything become like three-dimensional and so that all kind of came later just from the sheer number and hours of creating art. It's interesting how, how it all evolves. Like from year to year I can see slow changes of, in my style and, and things just by the hours, the, the 10,000 hours that people talk about. I did a little bit of traveling as a child. I mean, I come from a big family, so I'm one of eight girls, all daughters, <laughs> and I'm the oldest. So they were all, you know, every two years, another daughter was born. So we had a kind of a big family, but we did do some traveling. Like I remember being in my teens and we took like a month long trip in a motorhome with all of us, ten, so that's 10 people in a motorhome and just we stopped and saw all of the sites throughout the United States and, and that was amazing. I mean Mount Rushmore, I mean we saw everything, New York, every, it was fun for one month, all trapped in a motorhome, but it was a blast. Usually I pick a place to go because I know that's what I want to be working on and painting and so I'll choose like Tuscany for example and just travel through the countryside and just take so many photos. I mean, you feel like when you're there that everywhere you look is a perfect painting. It's just so awe-inspiring to see this little landscape and these old towns up on a hilltop. And I mean, everything is gorgeous. And so I kind of and I choose the seasons. So I choose like Tuscany in May, April, May, when the poppies are all blooming and wild abandon. I mean, I love that. Or I'll I'll choose France in July when the lavender fields are at the height in the peak of their blooming season. So I kind of do choose, but I am surprised oftentimes where I'll be like, okay, stop the car and I'll jump out and I'll you know, take a photo. And it's like everywhere I go, I always have a camera just in case. So I've been at the Celebration of Fine Art for 10 years and it's been amazing. I, I think it's just such a great opportunity for artists like myself, whom we, we are professional artists, but we paint in our small little towns and we don't, we send our work off to galleries, a lot of us, but we never meet the people that purchase our work. And so this show is incredible because it brings us in contact with, with the people that love art and they can commission a painting and come back and watch the progress of the painting. And you just build these really amazing relationships with these, these wonderful people that become more than collectors, they become like family. And it's really a unique experience. It's a one of a kind art show where Everyone could come and watch a hundred artists at the top of their, their skill and their craft come and just watch them do what they do best and share that love of art with them. It's just really, it's the connecting that is the best part about this show.